This is extremely important, ikhwani fillah. And again, remember that these signs and symptoms that you may see, they will be according to the purpose of the, mag the, the, purpose of the magic. So if the magic was done to separate husband and wife, we're going to get those kind of issues. We're going to get issues which pertain to that. If a magic was done to kill you, you're going to see those kind of issues, health problems, blah, blah, blah. There's even, subhanAllah, wives are doing magic on their own husbands in order to control them. Wives are doing magic on their own husbands to try and control them. I had a case where a wife was doing magic on her own husband. And then Allah Jalla wa Ala, she punished that woman and punished the, the both of them. They became disabled. They were people who used to do magic and things and all of that and they were indulging in it. And Allah Jalla wa Ala punished them both and they came upon disabilities. And so you see subhanAllah that it's the, you have to look at the reason, the reason for the magic. And then you will be able to understand what these signs and symptoms are that you are facing. Finally, finally, sorry, before we go into questions, the difference between magic and jinn possession. Okay? Both involve the jinn. Magic and possession, they both involve the jinn. Okay? However, possession is the act of one or more jinn acting on their own accord. The jinn has fallen in love with you. The jinn wants revenge. You harmed its child or you, you, you threw boiling water from a high place and they were sat there and you burnt them or you threw something across the room or you threw something outside. You didn't say Bismillah. And you harmed the jinn, wants revenge. Or the jinn's fallen in love. Okay? So that's what possession on its own. The jinn is acting independently. As for magic... It's a contract between the magician and the jinn. The jinn which has the contract with the magician either goes and possesses or harms that person itself or it sends other jinn to go and do that job. And finally, ikhwani fillah, there is a kind of magic which is a hereditary magic. A magic which passes from mother to child or child, to etc. And this chain, it will keep going on unless somebody breaks it by the permission of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So the jinn which is with the mother will move to the child. And that child, etc., or the father, and it moves down. And this is a type of hereditary magic. And that's why the amount of times that I've had a sister come to me and say, I've got X and Y and Z problems. And I say, tell me about your mother. Say, well, yeah, my mother had these problems too. My mother's got this problem. My mother's got that problem. And so in order to treat this, we have to bring them both together and we have to make ruqya upon both of them. So ikhwani fillah, that's, you know, there's so much more, but we, we're running out of time. So that's what I want to uh, bring to your attention concerning uh, jinn and...